Uh, I have to go back to. The, I have to go to the roof again. That's where Ren moved to, didn't she? No, is she on the first floor then? Yeah, there she is. And Taiga's still not here. You look troubled. What's wrong? Ren Tosca says something weird when I tell her I need Malachite to transmute a Vorpal Blade. Malachite, I see. It's not like I don't have any, but... I don't think she'll give me any. Positive, I'll be rejected, I ask her anyway. Instead of outright rejecting my request, she smiles at me. It's not a good smile. For free? Do I look like a charity organization to you? Maybe. Don't forget that we're enemies, so you can have it, provided you give me something in return. I didn't think she'd outright give it to me, but I'm anxious about what her conditions are. Let's see, in exchange for the Malachite, you just give me a gem of equal value. How about a large ruby? I want something along the lines of that. A ruby? Needless to say, I don't have one in my pocket or anything. Red notices my response, response and she continues in an upbeat tone. A bit earlier, I hacked into the commissary's database in order to get some jewels. I mean, they're there, but they're surprisingly pricey. Hey, come on, how was I supposed to know they were just going to be such a ripoff? It's highway robbery! Why didn't you just hack the gems into your pocket? Check my last message was in fucking January. Jesus! I think her servant is making fun of her. She gets a sour face after that exchange. Well, at least now you know the commissary has a ru large ruby. How about you use that? How you use that knowledge is up to you. I feel like I'm getting the short end of this deal, but what else can I do? I better go to the commissary. And hell, money conquers all. It costs, let's see, one of the five, five million. So I don't think you can hold. I'm pretty sure, like, hang on a second. Let me check the cheats real quick. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, that's kind of the irony. It costs five million. The max you can hold is 999,999. So there is no physical way you could actually afford this gem. And even if you somehow did... It's too expensive. A ruby? Well, act uh, we actually have one in stock. Odd. Why would I order one? What? You want to buy it? That'll be 5 million PPT. My, aren't we loaded? Uh, there's no way I can afford it. I understand your qualms. The ruby, while exquisite, is incredibly expensive. So why don't we make a deal? Us staff members would kill for one of the lunches made by Sakura, the school nurse. Unfortunately for us, those lunches are only for masters like yourself. I'd love to uh, be able to try one just once, like I'd ever get the chance. A lunch? Seriously? I mean, is anything homemade worth that much? Not that I care. No point in delaying. I'd better go to the nurse's office and finish this. God, I forgot this was just one giant fucking fetch quest after another. Nurse's office. Sakura, I need a box lunch. Hello, is something the matter? I have a request. I must look more serious than I realize because Sakura Mato stares at me silently. Can you make me a lunch? The words are clumsy if I do say so myself, but Sakura offers a sweet smile. Of course, the truth is I've been practicing during uh, the preceding rounds, hoping to hand them out. I'm afraid I'm not that good at making them yet. I'm not giving her a voice, by the way, just because... She's named and has a unique appearance. She does fuck all in this game. I'm taken with the urge to devour the whole gorgeous multi-tiered affair on the spot. Firmly regaining self-control, I give my thanks to Sakura. All right, off to the commissary! A 
I forgot I can't just jump in this one. That's in the second game. That's just soccer in general, to be frank. I mean... Uh, she plays a bigger role in Triple C for obvious reasons. But yeah, that's... It, it's honestly, it, it's a, okay. So it kind of makes sense, kind of, that she is an NPC, the same with Kotomine. But then it's like, these two characters don't do that much. Why, why not just change them to be something else? It's like, was it just they wanted to like get the actors back? I don't know. Actually, I see that, but I don't think Sakura actually has any voice lines in the game. I think Kotomini at least has one or two voice lines because PSP constraints. Oh my, could that be one of Sakura's legendary lunches? I can't believe you actually got this for me. Color me impressed. Thank you. I am truly grateful for this. As for my side of the bargain, here is the item you wanted. Was that really a fair trade? Like I care. Now that I have the ruby, it's time to push on. If I give this to Rin, I should get some Malachite in return, in theory, anyway. Rin, have your stupid ruby! Oh, what is it? Don't tell me! I hand Rin the ruby I got at the commissary. From her dumbfounded expression, it's clear she meant the deal as a joke. She gives me the Malachite. I'm not fond of seeing same faces of Rin and Sakura. Same goes for Kotomani from Stena and Shinji. He's the only one. Uh, only has one in this version. That's fair. To be fair, like I said, it makes sense. Sakura and Kotomine, Kotomine are in here because they're not real people. They're supposed to be NPCs. They're just built using the data of those two characters. And while they act like the characters, they are not them. It's also why Sakura has like rider length hair in here. They're mostly just Nasu doing what he always does, wink and a nod. I was gonna say, I think specifically even in Triple C, they say Sakura isn't even unique among them. She's just part of the quote, Sakura series AI. There are like a billion of her. I don't know about Kotomene. Justice for my boy Shinji. God, he needs it. He sucks in this game. Granted, I think most characters suck in this game, but that's because this game is also structured very monster of the week. Oh, I don't just mean like, I, by the way, when I say like there are a billion of her, I don't mean like, I don't mean like FGO constantly just reusing her face for characters. I mean, in the lore of Fate Extra, she is a machine that is mass produced like she is not supposed to have individuality she is no different than like siri in essence now when it comes to fate reusing her face that's called fan service <laughs> that's that's what that is i never thought you'd get it but a deal's a deal there's not very many of those so use it carefully Thank goodness. Now maybe I can get Ronnie to transmute this for me. God, it's been what? Fucking 20 minutes or so and I've just been running back and forth talking to people. So you have Malachite. That's a good catalyst. One very useful to alchemy. All I see is more same face fan service. Hi, welcome to Modern Fate. Soccer face at least look distinct. FGO, saber faces are another thing entirely. Fair enough, but I think to a degree, it's still kind of like, I think it's annoying and speaks to their lack of creativity. Like, I don't know if you follow or do anything with uh, with FGO anymore, Feather, but it's like, they've just now basically gone full hand that it's like, oh yeah, all the Indian servants, at least all the female ones. Yeah, they're all just, they're all just Sakura. Why? Because. Yeah, I didn't figure. That's why I explained it. But yeah, it's it, it it's just super. It, it speaks to like their lack of creativity. Like they could do so much with these characters, but it's not. Nah, they're just Sakura. 
Why? Because this one character is Sakura, and that means that all these characters are Sakura. Okay, you can get away with that for the Sakura 5. You cannot get away with that for Pavardi and Shiva. FGO is dead to me. Dude, FGO has been dead to me for a while. Honestly, like, <sighs> I kept hoping FGO would get better, and it seemed it was trying to by telling these grander, more epic tales, but then it just continuously kept shooting itself in the foot with its stories over and over again. And that's honestly how I feel about a lot of like Tight Moons just stories in general. Like people are gonna people are gonna continuously eat this shit up until it's like, oh my god, it's the greatest thing in the world! Oh my god! This stuff doesn't make sense, but I'm going to ignore it. Ugh. He man Maho that don't use the same faces. <sighs> that's that you <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I don't know. I don't think I can appreciate those as much. I, I will say I definitely hate that they just they just slapped Arcuit in the game. They just slapped um, Shiki into the game. I hate when they just slap the characters in the game where it's like they're not even servants. They're just hey, it's this character. They're a servant now. Why? Because I said so. Fuck off. And as for like the actual stories, I don't know. I think I think honestly, Nasu's writing is just up his own ass. Like at this point, like it's 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 up to a point where it's like, oh, this is all governed by the two guiding principles of Gaia and Alaya that form the counterforce that do all this other stuff. Bro, nobody cares. Just say it's space magic. No one gives a fuck. Like if I had to sum up Nasu's writing style in a way that bothers me in like one sentence, he overcomplicates everything. He could simplify so much and save so much time and it would still achieve the same result, but he tries to overcomplicate everything. And that's honestly, I think what makes it so bad. Just my opinion, but that's what I've seen from looking at stuff. Uh, now let's show his hand it to Ronnie. <laughs> After the mouth shed bursts open and dissipates, Ronnie opens her eyes. A sword appears in her hands. This is the Vorpal Blade. Sadly, I could not create one that would last beyond one use. Please use it carefully. It cannot be transmuted twice. Thank goodness. Now I have a chance against that Berserker. I'll go to the arena after this. Vengeance! All right. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I have to do here? Vorpal Blade... Ren, commissary, talk to the sales clerk, go to the nervous office, sales clerk, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, day three, I can have a conversation with Caster. All right, don't... Actually, hang on just a second. I will be right back. I have to go let the dogs inside. Talks among yourselves, I guess. Or don't. Now, the simplest explanation, just shave all your head off. Shave, shave all your head off. Yes, shave your head off. <laughs> Remove it from your shoulders. Welcome, Marthy. Woody. Sanju. I don't know what I have returned in returned is in Japanese. I only know how to say I have arrived. Uri. I think it would still probably start with Ore, but I don't I don't know what it would be for returned. Uh let's see. But yeah, I had to take that break to let the dogs in because at, like I was telling Feather earlier, earlier, it's like 103 outside. And one of our dogs is like solid black and she cannot stand the heat. All right, so I, I guess I have to just go fight uh, the Berserker quotation marks quote, maybe. <laughs> go to the first floor. 
I'm gonna get a level out of this one too. Are you curious how effective that sword will be, Master? I'm a little skeptical, but let's try it out. Alright, let's just speed through. Uh, so that's... There we go. Fox wife wanna be, huh? Yeah. Edging forgetting a language because you hate it that much. Oof. There we go. I don't know if that's right or not. Oop. No, it was not. That's me with Japan. Oof. There we go. We'll just push on through, get to the fight, kill that thing. And we'll see if how much experience we get from that. And if that's the case, we might fight more of these things. Because I have all these things mapped out somehow. Why did I write Japan? Because you have a bitter lifelong grudge against the Japanese, much like a certain Joestar. There's magic everywhere, and it swirls even more fiercely the closer I get to the giant monster. At that moment, the Vorpal Blade in my hand starts emanating magic. As the enemy servant rises in anguish, his aura shrinks rapidly. Master, the magic item that girl prepared for us has was super effective. I'm part Japanese. That explains all the self-loathing. <laughs> the enemy is weak. Let's finish it. Fate Extra Records maps look better than this. God, here's hoping. I mean... In theory, they should be. They're going to be made for consoles, not a PSP. So, in theory. But, I mean, they also had the chance. Do you have a favorite language beatdown that you like to learn? Uh, I only know one. English. And arguably, I don't speak that one very well. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't really learn languages. Uh, mostly because I don't have the patience or... Um, what's the word? Um, determination. There we go. I don't have the, the patience or determination to learn another language. Any other words I use, uh, like with the knowing how to say I have arrived in Japanese, is mostly from watching TV and stuff like that. Like, if you ask, if you say Ore Sanjo to any Common Rider fan, they will instantly probably know that you are at least aware of Den O or have seen Den O. Ore. Sanjiu! Yeah, I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping Fate Extra Records is better, but I don't know why they kept the, like, fucking, the card combat or the fucking, the, the rock, paper, scissors combat. It's like, they have no reason to do that now. We're on consoles now. We don't have to do this. We're on an actual thing that can support an RPG system. <laughs> Sweet Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know. Triple C being DLC. Oh man, don't, don't even joke. I'm thinking they might actually try. Break your body. Oh, that did not stun him. This is gonna hurt. Ah, uh, oh, that stunned me though. That's an, okay, thank God. Ow. Did I watch the Futo Tentai anime? Uh, I did not. Um, God, I have, I have so much I have to get around to watching. <laughs> it's like I tell people all the time. It's like, despite how much Kamen Rider I know and how much I've seen, my list of how many I've actually completed is so much shorter. Cause it's like, I still have to finish watching Wizard. I still have to finish watching Forze. I have to finish watching Build. 
I have to finish watching, um, I guess that's it for the Kamen Riders, really. But then it's like, I have to finish watching Go Kaiger. I have to finish watching, uh, Tokyuger. I have to finish watching, uh, Deca Ranger. I have to finish watching Metalder. I have so many series I have to finish. Uh... Uh, break maybe guard attack defend attack more gear it's an actual series plots that's fair I was gonna say I know way more of Shinkinger's theme song than I have any right to considering I've never seen that series oh he applies stun when he hits oh that's bad. Oh. Mmm. I don't like that. All right. Listen here, you son of a bitch. This. Is my boomstick. Oh, sure, that stunned you. <laughs> At the point, same with Maji Ranger. That's fair. I feel that exact same way. Okay, Maji Ranger. I need to watch the Maji Ranger movie. I finished that series, but I haven't seen the movie yet. The sermon wails as it disappears. We've repelled it. Uh oh, it's a Vorpal Blade. How'd they get that? Really? I wonder how. You win the treasure hunt, mister. Okay, what are we gonna play next? We gotta go think about it again. All right, bye-bye, mister. Do you wanna watch Maji Ranger again? Hell no. I liked Maji Ranger. I thought it was all right. I liked the fact they weren't just a random group of people together. I liked that they were an actual family. I thought that was a neat thing. And I liked the fact that the sixth ranger actually married into the family. If that little kid is still so full of energy, I guess we didn't defeat her servant. Of fate games, what are your thoughts on Fate Samurai records? Story and gameplay wise? I, I, I've seen like a trailer, I think. Its story looks okay, I guess. I don't. Uh, feudal Japan Samurai, I guess. Okay. I, I didn't really dig any further than that. Um, And gameplay, I, I haven't seen what the gameplay is yet. Um, I'm hoping it's good though, but uh, it, it's weird. I don't, I don't tend to watch a lot of trailers for games, even ones I'm exciting for. Ex ex ugh, excited for, mostly because I find nowadays game developers tend to like over, not oversell, but they put too much in their trailers. It's like how people have said like, oh, uh, I'm going to talk about the first boss in like the God of War remake. It's like, uh, don't spoil that. It's like, oh, uh, he was in the trailer. It's not a spoiler. Yeah, well, motherfucker, I didn't watch the trailer. It's actually a hack and slash. I hope it's good. <laughs> Honestly, we were having this conversation earlier too. I will live with the fact that it's story is probably not going to be the best, but I will live with that if they got a manga to it. All right, they got a manga. That's not surprising. Time Moon has like 50 billion manga they haven't finished. Did you know Triple C Foxtail is still going? That has not finished yet. <laughs> Did you know I think the Heavensville manga isn't finished? Uh, I would say stuff like Strange Fakes manga hasn't finished, but 
that's that's its own dumbass fault for starting that the same time that the fucking light novels were being written that's its own dumbass fault but yeah like i will be content if the gameplay is really good even if the story sucks ass it will be just like it was with extella link for me i love extella link its story completely ass could not care about it gameplay really good People wanted it so much. Ah, well, whatever the case, we can get the first cipher key now, my dear master. Trigger obtained. Phew, cipher key obtained. It was so annoying this time. Can't it ever be easy for you, master? Frank Drake even start an anime type moon needs someone to force them to focus on the assault they already have. Here's the weird thing. And I don't know if this is true, but, but like, here's, here's the thing I, here's the thing that also is very confusing and that leads me more credence to the fact that the anime are just for fans. Like they are fan service. I don't know if Strange Fake is getting a full anime, like a 100% full anime. I doubt it. But look at every anime before it. Like, we got the Heavens Film movie, sure. But it's like everything else before that. What was it? Oh, we got Babylon and we got, um, and we got, um, hold on. What the fuck was the other one called? And we got, uh, Camelot as like anime and movies and then we're gonna get Solomon which people call the best parts of FGO oh so we're literally cherry picking the best part okay hey we got the MLA 2 case files I mean one part of it oh so they cherry picked another bit oh we're gonna be getting strange fake how what part of that are they cherry picking it's like they're not really making animes they're just making expensive they're making expensive fan service <laughs> that's that's really what it boils down to it's basically just supposed to be there it's like hey this is the part fans all like now watch that be happy and i i don't know what else but yeah it, it's weird to me it's like if you're gonna make an anime make an anime stop with this fucking half-assing just oh yeah so we made um we made one part of it. Why are people confused? I don't understand. What do you mean people misunderstood and don't have context for this because we just literally animated the ending? I gotta stop as long as it makes Nazi money. Oh, I'm sure. I know. I can still bitch and complain. I just complain mostly like I don't even care that fate does it I care more that the fan base are going to see the changes and stuff in there and they're going to latch onto that for forever like they will use that as like holy like uh as like what what's the word I'm looking for they're going to hold on to that like it is the very holy grail itself like what was it? I think when the Apocrypha anime came out and people saw like, what was it? Uh, God, who, what was the German dude's name? Uh, the guy who had Vlad as a master. And they saw like him with uh, Fion trying to get the grail. And it's like, oh, Fion actually won the grail. Fion uh, got the grail. No, he fucking didn't. He wasn't in that book. That was something they added for the anime. Darnick, yes, that was it. But yeah, it's just stuff like that that bothers me. Like the the fan base just, I don't want to like overgeneralize to say all the fan base because there are people who actually have read the originals. Not too many because we don't ever get the originals. That's a, that's a whole other problem in and of itself. But like just people will see that stuff and just hold on to it. Like people say like, oh, Fate Rat is the true ending because um, it ends with Artoria and Shiro in Avalon. You know, that was just added as fan service for the Rialta Nua version, right? 
that's not like officially the true ending. Uh, yes it is because uh, uh, they showed it in the animu I watched. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.